In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. This is Bishop Murray Emmanuel from Sydney, Australia. A small message on this uh, festive season as we are approaching the day that changed the history of mankind forever. And that is the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all glory to his holy and mighty name. We, wish, we would like to wish every Christian, whoever you are and wherever you are, um, this resurrection of our Lord Jesus, may it be an infinite blessing. May it be an enlightenment to our hearts, to our minds and to our souls. And may it be a turning point for many, many people to come back to the light, to the way and to the truth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all glory to his holy and mighty name, is our Lord, our God, our Savior and our Redeemer. Christianity without the cross is not the true Christianity. When we look at the Gospel writers, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, we see the narrative of the cross taking one third at least of the entire four Gospels put together. That just to prove one thing and to make an, emph an emphasis on one pivotal point, and that is the cross. The Lord Jesus came to save and redeem the whole world, and there was no other way to do it but the cross, Calvary, Golgotha. The resurrection of the Lord is what we refer to as the true love. There are seven festive seasons in our church calendar. The first three, uh, which are the nativity, the birth of the Lord, followed by the epiphany, the baptism of the Lord at the Jordan River, and the Sunday resurrection of the Lord. These three first festive seasons resemble the following. 1 Corinthians 13, 13, St. Paul says, and three things remain in every one of us, that is faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of all is love. The birth of the Lord is hope. The epiphany of the Lord is faith, and the resurrection of the Lord is love, and the greatest of all is love. If anyone would ask you, what is the ultimate miracle the Lord Jesus had ever performed in the body, in the flesh, on earth? You say, his resurrection. For we have never heard, nor will we ever hear, a human being dying and being placed in the tomb and then rising from that tomb by his own authority. This is unheard of. This is impossible as far as the human level is concerned. But one person did it, and the only person that ever has done it, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all glory to his holy and mighty name. He went into the tomb willingly, and he rose out of the tomb with his own authority. Hallelujah. May the resurrection of the Lord Jesus guide you, protect you, deliver you from the snares of the enemy, whether it be visible or invisible. May you come closer and closer to the Lord. From our beloveds, there is no other way but Him. There is no other truth but Him. And there is no other life but Him. The risen Messiah bless you, guide you, protect you, protect your families, your loved ones, and May the entire Christendom be united always in Jesus' mighty name, the one who rose from the dead for our salvation and redemption. Christ is risen, truly is risen. 
Christos Anesti, Alethos Anesti. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. God bless.